Teak here. Welcome to the new Echo MTG collection tracker. Uh, we're going to walk you through how to use the new collection tool. Um, so it's an inventory binder and over here you're going to see it load up and this is your new collection tracker. Uh, so I'm tracking quite a bit of things here but I'm going to walk you through the interface. So um, first thing to note is getting cards or items into your inventory. Uh, there's multiple spots in the application, but when you go to the collection tracker here, you could say something like Snapcaster Mage, and then you can, there's two ways. You can use your arrow keys, which is very convenient to do this quickly up and down, and select the one you want and hit enter. So I'm gonna hit enter there, and you'll see that that item is added to your inventory. So while you still have this tool open, you can hit the down arrow to reopen the collection um, the search and insert quick add tool so let me just show you a cool example where if like say a new a set comes out um, we're gonna go with ISD uh, <clears throat> right for Innistrad you can actually once you put ISD so this area over here you can put the set code and then you can search the ones you have and you can shoot down to the different areas you want so there's another cool thing about this tool is you can put in a default acquired price um, so say I, I call this like one dollar and then I can uh, hit enter as well um, so as we go through the application this is a quick way to get it in so you can shoot through you know different areas just hitting enter and I'm using my arrow keys which is really nice so if you want to use your mouse you have access to just select regular and you can uh, like regular foil and you can add in the acquired price here. So if I add this, you'll see it adds the acquired price in. And I'm actually showing uh, British pounds, so it looks a little different. So I'm actually gonna go ahead into my settings and I'm gonna change back over to USD uh, for this. So I shoot back over and then you'll see the entry is at one dollar okay you can search your inventory for anything you want snapcaster and it'll automatically run a search and then a uh, cool part is that there's this fly out over here and if you click this this actually like shows you information about a product uh, when you bought it and its trajectory you can also manage it in decks I have snapcaster and 33 of my decks and lists and you can quickly add it to a deck Kind of, you can just search through the decks that you manage over here, hit the add button, you'll get a notification that was added to the deck. You can also remove it from a deck too, uh, from here. So if I go back and see it, it's in the snow deck, I'm going to remove it from the snow deck. So there's a list and deck management right from your, your collection tracker as well. Um, so you can modify the, uh, the price that you say acquired something for. So say I got that for four, and it'll automatically adjust the gain and loss for you. Uh, you can also choose the um, condition which it's in or choose the language which it's in. Okay, another uh, important aspect of this is you can add notes. You could say, uh, you know, got out of a pack, create note. And now I have a note here. I can delete the note or I can close it. And how you know a note is you'll see the note button is yellow. So there's also a feature in echo mtg that you can record say if you sold or traded something you click this button it's like the the currency symbol and you could choose what you acquired it for and what you sold it for and then hit mark is sold and i'll automatically remove it from your inventory and put it into your earnings uh, which will be another video to cover earnings to toggle whether or not it's foil there's a foil button you can see here you just hit that and it'll toggle the foil or not uh, you can also mark it as trade to put in your trade binder, and that's these double arrows going each way. And then if you want to, say, quickly copy this whole row into another, you can hit this copy button. You'll see that another version of Snapcaster appears with the same information. Uh, to remove it from your inventory, you can just hit the delete button, and it'll remove it from your inventory. All right, so I'm going to clear my Snapcaster search, and I'm going to just play with filters and show you all a couple options for filters. So there's these this wedge filter. So it's you know if the money is greater than ten dollars, oops, I wrote ten incorrectly. It's only going to show cards worth over ten bucks. 
so if I say under, right, so I only want to see cards under $20. So then it's going to wedge cards between the two costs. So this is showing TCG, it's searching against TCG mid, right? So you may see some market prices here that are just below, but the mid price is where it gears itself around. Um, other filters, you have tradable and not for trades. So you could say only tradable, and it's only going to show the items I have marked for trade within this wedge value. So I'm going to get rid of the wedge price value because I have a lot more marks for trade. And you can see these are all the ones I have marked for trade. So I'm going to go back to uh, show all, which you can either click there or click show all. So you can search by color. So you can say blue and it'll only show blue cards. Uh, by rarity, so let's go blue mythics. <clears throat> and you could choose whether you have foils or not, so you could say only foils. So now I'm looking at uh, blue cards, cards that have blue in it that are mythic that are only foils. And I got Jahora here, and if I go CMC is uh, you know less than or equal to three, I get all these which are exactly that. So they're foil mythics that have blue in them and their CMC is three or less. Uh, you can also search, so uh, say I bring all my um, filters back. One really popular one is the reserve list. I'll show you there. So I can just show all reserve list or only reserve cards. And reserve cards get a little uh, marker next to them that says reserved. So you can import directly into this tool, um, and I'm going to walk you through that. Uh, so you know this is one way to get it in by searching through the Quick Add tool and hitting Enter. Anywhere on the website too, if you're searching, you also get the option to use these buttons here to just add something to your inventory immediately. You can see you just got added behind the scenes. And every time you add, your total price automatically updates and all these uh, data points get updated as well. Uh, you can export your inventory through downloading a CSV or this links to our API and you can read into the API. Uh, it shows you how many mythics, rares, and commons. Uh, some of these are paid features, so you know. So when you get the free account, you may not see a lot of these filters and or data metrics. Um, and then uh, you can do expansions too. So I can just do like, uh, let's go Wild of Eldraine. I got nothing. So let's try Innistrad. Well, I guess I have nothing because I'm showing only... Uh, only reserve, which nothing in Innistrad is uh, by reserve. So I'll go show all, and then we'll see the cards I have from Innistrad here. Okay, so you can import into your tool, and there's two options. Uh, there's a video for this, but you can use the TCG Player app to scan and import into EchoMTG. You could also use the Delver Lens app, which uh, is available on Android. TCG Player, I believe, is both iOS and Android. You can also import a CSV. So if you're moving or migrating or you're using two different collection trackers at once, you can, uh, there's information of how you export and can import the CSV right in here. So that's it for the collection tracker. If you have any questions, you write comments below. Thanks. Take care.